Okay, everyone, it's Marie Six. I'm doing a water pump on a 2011 Dodge Durango 5.7 liter. For first, you want to undo your air vent from here to here. All you need is a flathead. So, right here, these little clamps, one on each side. Then you just want to start undoing this already on loosening. Sometimes the whole bolt comes with it. Take the nut off. I think it's like a 16. Take the bracket off. And undo this bolt. Make sure you undo the belt. The belt is simple. The tensioner pulley right here. You just put your pry bar in there. Just like so. Like that, and then you bend it whatever way it turns to loosen the belt. I took the belt off. Belt's right here. Now we're gonna start, and I undid the hole, the thermostat hose, which is right here. Undo these two half bolts. This comes off, thermostat housing. Now I'm gonna work on the main bolts, which are these. There's 11 of them. They put a new bleeder screw, so I don't gotta take that one out. And I would have bought another one anyway. But these bolts all around, follow well, there's 11 bolts. But to get to them, you first gotta take off this pulley and this tensioner pulley, the one the belt went on, does not do this bolt. This one's a half, this one's probably about 15. Let me get that done, and I'll show you how I keep the bolts organized. Just wanted to show you guys a little sneak peek of a trick I do. Here's where the tensioner goes. As you see, it didn't come with the new one. It's the left tensioner, and this one's for the belt tensioner. And then the bleeding block-off bolt goes right there, the block-off screw. And then all these empty holes are your other bolts you got to undo to get the water pump off. Let's go around and then to keep them organized because bolts are longer and shorter and different things I got a pin put a mark in each one then put top of the water pump bottom you don't gotta do that you already know what you're doing and then when you look you see the dots I just poke the bolt right through the cardboard so I keep my bolts organized on the water pump let me get this old one off and I'll get back with you. And this is why I want to show <clears throat> where the boats go. <clears throat> Excuse me, because look, look at the length the difference. This long one goes to the right and the short one goes to the left. So then I come over to my other new part. I see what hole they came out of. This one was to the left. So I put it right here and this one was to the right. I put it right here and then the middle one that goes under the block off this is a real long one too now I gotta get all my rest of my little bolts around here go around where the dots are and I'll get back with you here's the temperature sensor I do we put a 19 I'm loosening I thought I was gonna have to move it for because of this bolt but I don't but they didn't get a new one and they're not getting a new one so I gotta put this clean it and put in the new one I suggest you get a new one I gotta get the rest of these bolts I'll bring you back here's another little hack since there's a bolt right behind this which is your power steering pulley you stick your hand under behind it unsnap it loose and this is what we call a slow roll with a ratchet with the socket won't fit. Get that off. I got two more halves that are in loosened. This 10 that comes to this pipe, which you got to be very careful with. And after you move that, the water pump should be able to make sure you get the bottom hose off. Which I didn't mention right there. Goes right there on the bottom of the water pump bottom to the radiator I'll get back with you all right guys with a little work a little olive oil on here 
Popped it out. Didn't break nothing. Smooth. Your water pump is off. And that's what it, you want to clean that surface good, but don't scratch it. So you want to get it as clean as you can. Here's the old water pump. And there's the new one. You see how I got every bolt accounted for where it goes? Look at the size difference of all these bolts. Long, these ones are short. Short, long, but you gotta be very careful because there's a reason why they're long and short. Let me get it put back together, cleaned up, and it's the old one. You can see it was leaking all the corrosion and stuff. I'm having overheating problems. Let me get to cleaning. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to wipe it down one more time. I got it pretty clean. You don't want to scratch the surface. You just want to make sure it's smooth. And make sure you get the uh, O-ring gasket off this tube. I took mine off. Old one is right here. You can see it's very dry feeling. This one's more... Got more uh, elastic in it, more bend, and always change them if they give it, and then the block off uh, screw they give you too, just replace it. I'm gonna put it on and I'll be right back. All right, everyone, here's the new water pump with the gasket. I put lightly silicone in there, you can see. Make sure you don't get it where the antifreeze goes for sure, nowhere around. Just do it lightly so it sticks in there. And here's the bleeding screw they gave me to put on. I'm going to put it on. Truck get lined up. And we'll go from there. Alright everyone, I'm pretty much done. I got the bottom hose on. Right there. All I got to do is put this pulley on. The tensioner pulley. The block off. They want the old thermostat. I always recommend a new thermostat, but you do need a customer. I really, really recommend you get a new thermostat. You get water pump the same. <laughs> um, and then put the belt on, and then the top hose, and bleed it. And then we're gonna be finished. I hope you guys like watching the video. I'm gonna come back, and let you see a little more, and then. I'm going to call it a day. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that post notification for me. I appreciate everyone watching this. Taking your time out the day. It really means a lot to our family. Alright guys. Now water pump's finished. You can see everything back in place. The belt on. Temperature sensor on the pipe in bleeding screw with the bracket back on hoses on it's all tight belt on now I gotta put the air filter the air uh, thing back on fill it up and bleed it and we're done appreciate you guys watching like share subscribe you like more videos like this leave a comment and i'll do more mechanic videos have a great day god bless